G'day guys, I've got another airplane unboxing for you today and this one is a Skymax model. If you can see by the end of the box, it's a Virgin Blue Boeing 737-800 in a scale 1 is to 100. And you can see the model number there is SKR8216. Now I did a bit of looking on YouTube for videos of, of the Skymax 737 in this scale and I couldn't actually see um, a whole lot of information out there about it so I thought I'd um, give it a go myself and show you guys what you get in the box and what the model actually looks like. So you can see the model uh, is packaged very well. We have a layer of foam on the top here and underneath that uh, there's actually, actually quite a lot of laser cut foam uh, which looks like some individual pieces. So there you can see the contents of the box. So what I'll do is I'll take everything out of the box, lay it out on the table and we'll see what we get. We have the Virgin Blue Fuselage uh, both wings, the horizontal, rear horizontal stabilizers, the wooden stand, and the last thing that's in the box was this little screw, um, which I believe goes into this stand and attaches to the base of the fuselage. So I'll take each component out. Um, it didn't come with any instructions, but it seems fairly straightforward. We'll just um, push these, have little pegs on them. Which, these have little pegs on them that you can see there, um, which will simply push straight into the model. So I'm going to go through now, quickly assemble this, and then we'll take a look at the actual finished model. As you can see, it's got that striking 737-800 design and look to it. It really is quite a beautiful model. And it's hard to convey how big it is. I don't have anything to compare it with at the moment. Um, but I mean, if you can just see the size of my hand there, it's, it really is quite massive. And it's surprisingly heavy too, considering it's made out of plastic. Uh, but I'll zoom in now and we'll take a look at some of its finer details. The printing on this is actually quite nice. I believe it's actually printed onto the plastic itself. Just show you the engine detail there as well. See if that focuses in. Now I believe the actual engines uh, rotate as well. But I haven't actually tested that out. Moving further down, looking at the wingtip now. It just—it's quite a nice-looking model. Um, the wings certainly feel like um, like plastic. I mean, the whole thing does feel like plastic, but the body just feels so solid. Looking at the tail now, and the registration number. So the colours—I think they've got the colours and the actual mould design. Um, uh, quite nice for this airplane. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll put it on its uh, on its mounting stand, and we'll see what that looks like. The stand is really quite nice, actually. If you're going to have this displayed on your desk at work or at home, it's quite a striking model. It looks really nice. I think the Virgin Blue livery, uh, their old livery, this is from 2000 to probably 2008 or so, is really quite nice. Uh, it's such a striking red. That was my son, by the way. Just helping out with the review. But there you go, it's such a beautiful aircraft, I think. The 737-800 uh, is one of my favourite aircraft. Uh, along with the Airbus A380 and the Boeing 747. That's the Skymax 1S to 100 Virgin Blue Boeing 737-800. Uh, it is quite nice, I'm surprised by the quality of it. Um, of course, I love die-cast models, but I think this particular model, just its sheer size um, and its quality, it, it's quite a stunning model. I'm very happy with it. I bought it from Hobbyco in Sydney and it only cost me $60, which I thought was a reasonable price, um, especially for what you were, what you were getting. Um, some other Skymarks 1S to 100 models go for considerably more than that. So yeah, anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you'd like me to do any other videos on this particular plane, uh, just let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching, and bye for now.